Hello and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In this video, I'm going to discuss warming up as a brass player. Let's look at some of the key components that go to getting a good warm up in. As brass players, our warm up is probably the most important part of our routine. We don't want to focus solely on what's happening with our lips. It's really easy to overlook the other parts of the body that play a key role when we play. Now, I want to thank everybody out there who subscribed to the channel so far. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up on whenever I put out a new video. For me, warming up starts long before I actually pick up the instrument. When we go to play, our thought process can start to trigger physical reactions in our body before we even pick up our horns. So we want to make sure that the warm up starts here mentally and that whenever we go to play that we're in the right mental space, we're calm, we're relaxed and we're ready to approach whatever music it is that we have in front of us. So how do we get to this calm mental state and bring that into our warm up? Well, some of the things that have helped me in the past was just by taking a few minutes before I warm up and doing some meditating, finding a nice quiet place where I can just center myself and really get into acceptance mode. Sometimes when we go to warm up, we want to create this sound, but sometimes we just have to accept what the sound is and build on top of that as we start to warm up. Now, another way you can enhance your mental state to help you get a good warm up in is to get some physical exercise done prior to playing your instrument. Not only will it help your cardiovascular system warm up, but it's great for your mentality. Physical exercise is a great way to just pull your mind away from everything that's going on and it can really help you focus on whatever task you have in front of you. Now that we're mentally focused, let's look at some physical things we can do to help our warm up. Now these exercises may vary depending on your instrument, but overall, we just want to make sure that our necks and our heads and shoulders, all of that is nice and loose. So usually I look up, I look down, I look left, I look right, I do some semicircles, and I start to just kind of loosen up everything here in this area. I'll also stretch out my fingers. I'll stretch out my arms. I'll, I'll do all of these things because even though we have to be relaxed when we play, we want to make sure our muscles have the independence, whether it be our fingers, our slides, whatever it may be. We want that independence to be there in our warm up. So just go ahead and get your body stretched out for whatever instrument it is you're about to play. So in conjunction with these different stretches, I'll start to warm up my breathing. Now I don't want to do anything that's too drastic for my system. I just want to take some nice deep breaths to let the air go in and out without really regulating it much at all. So something like And I may do this for a couple minutes on end, just really so I can start to observe how the air is moving throughout my body. I want to start to incorporate the instrument, but I don't want to start making any sound yet. I just want to get into my breathing cycle and transfer that same air to the instrument. So I'll get the air going. I'll pick up the instrument. I'm just going to send air through. So what I'm trying to do is I want to warm the body up to how this air is flowing. I just don't expect the sound yet. I'm only expecting the air to flow through freely. So 
So at this point in my warm up, I want to ask myself, can I match that same freedom of air flowing through my body when it's time for me to play a note on the instrument? So what I'll do is I'll bring the horn up and I'll just send some air through one time. I'll bring it back down. And when I bring it up again, I'll expect the sound of a note. And I'm trying to match the same freedom of the airflow. Now this time I'm gonna expect a note to come out. I'm gonna relax and bring it down. Expect the air. Relax and bring it down and not expect this note. There's a lot of different warm up routines out there, and I would suggest you find a couple that help you achieve what it is you're going for in your warm up. Don't forget to warm up the rest of your body, though, especially your brain. This is what's feeding everything that's happening physically. So being in the right mental state is really important. Let me know what kind of warm ups you do on or off the horn. I'm really curious to know. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time at the Chop Shop.